All right. Good evening. This is the West Shore Photography Club's normal Monday evening meeting, and it is September the 27th, 2021. We have a really busy week coming up at the West Shore Photography Club. Lots of stuff cooking. Uh, is Norbert Fry here, perchance? No, he is not. Um, we had a field trip on Saturday over to uh, Landis Valley. Um, Mike, uh, Mike Donovan, would you want to give a little bit of an update on that? I can, but I wasn't there. Oh, you weren't there. Okay, I'm sorry. I forgot <laughs> about that. Uh, Mike Lackey, you were there. Yes. Yeah, want to give a little update on that? Please? Yeah, so we all met around 9 o'clock in the morning. Um, kind of spread out on our own around the village. Um, apparently, most of the shops are only open if you are on their actual tour. Um, but we were able to shoot through some of the windows, like with the blacksmith shop and the pottery shop and so forth. Um, lots of open fields to explore. It's it's just a really neat colonial village. Um, it reminded me a little bit of uh, Old Bedford Village mm -hmm. out, out western Pennsylvania. Um, maybe not quite as old. Those are more log cabin style homes, but uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, and the images everyone shared were excellent. Great. There were uh, nine of us that were on that particular trip. So that was on Saturday. Uh, we do have this coming Wednesday evening, our photo shoot of the fountain at the state capitol. Now we've uh, been rained out there three times in a row. So this will be our fourth try and weather's supposed to be really, really good. So it'll be at seven o'clock on Wednesday evening. And I believe you have received an email on that today. So, uh, and that will be a short trip. That'll only be an hour or so. Uh, there's only a couple of little shots we want to get for that. Um, on Saturday, this coming Saturday, the 2nd of October, we have an equipment swap over at the Mechanicsburg Arts Center School and Galleries. And you will be getting an email uh, there's someone crackling paper if you could just mute yourself that would be great um the um and that's at starting at 10 o'clock and it's real short from 10 to 11 and uh the members will uh bring their equipment and we'll put it onto a table and then if you want to buy something you make a deal with whoever's selling or whatever and um and that's it there's really nothing much more to it than that we don't know what's going to be sold because frankly we don't know who's going to show up for that yet but i do want to ask a question if you could do us a favor um we need to know how many tables we we're going to have to put up and we have lots of tables we don't want to have a put up 20 we only need 10 type thing so if you go in the chat room on the box if you could say uh, I plan on attending and need a table, just say that, and then we're going to count those at the end, and that'll be a, give us a guide as to uh, how many tables we need. And that'll be on Saturday at 10 o'clock at the Mechanicsburg Art Center School and Galleries. Um, next week, um, we have an image review, and it'll be with Lori Snyder, and there is no theme for that, so that'll be next uh, on next Monday evening on the 4th. We have a, uh, a walk on Wednesday the 6th at the Adams Ritchie Park. And Mike Donovan, would you want to give them a little bit of an update on that, please? Uh, yeah, Adams Ritchie Park has a couple different sections that you can photograph in. First of all, they have a butterfly garden, um, which is, of course, open to the public anytime. They have um, a full-sized Pennsylvania Railroad caboose that sits on tracks. You may have gone by that on the on the road. Um, there is a like a reproduction of an old nail mill, um, just the architecture of it. And inside there is an old nail pulling machine from the 1800s. So. Um, uh, they said that what they'll do is pull the uh, plexiglass from around it so you won't have to worry about any kind of reflections or anything. Hopefully, there'll be a little bit of fall color. I don't know about that. Uh, there's a nature trail. It's, it's hilly and it's rocky, so it's not the easiest thing, but there is a nature trail down the side that runs to the Conard Gwinnett Creek. 
um, there's playgrounds, there's, there's really all kinds of things that, that you can get into as far as photography goes. And if you want people, there'll probably be youth athletic league practices there and all that sort of thing. And I think what I'll do is just about in the middle of the park, there's a kind of a gazebo type thing of like a band shell almost. And I'll probably park myself there and I'll have maps of the park and all that kind of thing. Okay. Mike, would this be like an organized uh, a trip type thing or is it be sort of uh, you give them the map and people will go and, and scout out their own uh, stuff? Yeah. Um, what I'll do is give you the map. And by then, a lot of the stuff you can see right from, from where we'll meet. And the um, butterfly garden is right nearby. So I'll just pass out the um, the maps and say have a ball, okay. and I I think if I'm right, is it scheduled for four o'clock, Joe? Do you remember? Yes, four o'clock. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you want to hang around for a couple hours, then you're looking at sunset too, and the park itself is pretty wide open, so maybe you'll get something good there as well. Okay, and you don't have to be there at four; you can show up at five if you wanted to, or something like that, right, Mike? Anytime you want. Okay. Okay, good. Um, on the Monday the 11th, which is Columbus Day, we don't have a meeting that night. So we're going to use that night to do our Harrisburg City Night Walk with Karen Cummings. And she's doing a good night uh, Harrisburg series. Uh, she is very into night photography. And she's going to lead us on a trip. And that'll be a couple of hours. We're going to meet at 7 o'clock. And uh, you'll have an email that you're going to get on that one, and uh, or you or you have received that one maybe, and it'll have a map as to where we're going to meet, and that'll be a couple of hours, and that would be one where you probably would want a, a normal zoom lens like a 24 to 70, and maybe a 70 to 200 for maybe occasional shots, but no, um, and you can use a tripod. And since it's going to be night, that would be really helpful. If you have a monopod, that would be good too. Um, so that'll be on the Monday evening, October the 11th. And that will be with Karen Cummings and others from the uh, West Shore Photography Club group. Joe, could I mention one other thing? Yes, please. Um, there's where, where you see the caboose along the side of, um, I guess it's East Penn Drive. There's an entrance to the park right there. And there's also an entrance to the park. If you if you are coming from Holy Spirit Hospital and you pass the caboose, you'll come to a light. On the right is the post office. You'll turn left, and there's an entrance there as well. So there's two ways to get in. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. Anybody have anything for the order? No. Okay. Tonight's program is live image processing. And we had uh, nine victims or members that uh, submitted images for us, and we're real happy for that. The um, they were each member could submit a, could submit up to two images, and the whole goal of the session is that this is not an image review, this is not a critique, this is where we're going to take an image. For instance, let's take from Terry as an example, Terry Longenecker, and we're going to put it onto the screen. He's going to tell us a little bit of, about it, um, and then we are going to have all of you suggest the edits that we might want to make to it. Someone might say, like Eve might say, you need to, you should maybe crop it this way, and then Mark would say, no, 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 crop it that way, and then and then George would say, no, 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 crop it that way. And the whole point of it is, is to see how other people approach processing of an image from scratch rather than just seeing the before and, and the after. And that's a very educational kind of a process that we go through. We're gonna be making all of our edits into Lightroom and uh, we have everybody um, uh, muted right now, but when we get into it, we need you, we're gonna have you do the, uh, tell us what the edits to make and I'm gonna make them on the screen with Lightroom. I'm just gonna be the button pusher and the slider guy and uh, you're gonna direct what, what we're gonna do. So uh, you'll need to mute yourself, unmute yourself when we uh, get to that point and, uh, and you wanna make a suggestion. Right around eight o'clock, um, 
uh, each person could have up to two images. We're going to take one per person, and then if we have time, we will do the second image. Uh, and around eight o'clock, we'll make a note to let you know that it is eight o'clock, and then you can stay later if you want to, or we know you have some family commitments or some folks can't spend the whole time there. So here we go. I'm going to share the screen. And the first one up is Marlene. And Marlene is the winner of a prize because she was the very first one who submitted her image. And what her prize is, I have it right here. What did I do? Right there it is. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay, that is a, a it's <laughs> It's not very expensive, Marlene, so don't think this is like a high value price. And, <laughs> and, but it's great to put in your camera bag so if you're out and you get wet and you can just cover everything up. And you can get these like for a dollar or so at like Walmart and places. And they're great to put in your camera bag. I've used these many, many times. So that's what, and Marlene, in one of our trips, I'll be make sure I bring that with you, that high value prize that you got there. Okay. So here we are. Let me bring up. This is Marlene's image. So can everybody see that on the screen? Yes. Okay, good. So Marlene, do you wanna tell us a little bit about that? Uh, I went on a trip this summer. It was up by Lake Superior and we went on a boat ride to see the painted rocks up there. And I saw this lighthouse and I just thought it was so cool because it was wooden and was looked really old and. Okay. So, and what, what prompted you to submit this image for the uh, for the meeting tonight for the image review? Why this one? Oh, because I, I just wanted to see what you guys thought of how I should process it. Okay, so let's get into that, and we'll take it into the develop module. And uh, anybody want to start off with this? Um, any suggestions, uh, Mary? I know Mary Fox. You, no. you mentioned something <laughs> yeah. earlier. Yeah, Joe, I love the picture, Marlene. It's it, oh, I, one I wish I had taken, you know. Um, I, first of all, when I do something, I, I look to see if it's level, because my stuff is historically not level. And I would, I would probably straighten the horizon a little bit. It looks like the, it's a little bit crooked, the building. Okay. Like yeah. that, Mary? Is that okay? Yeah, and I, I tend to, I start to lower the exposure a little bit. Yeah, well, or maybe raise it up a little bit. Depend. I just do, and then I, I raise the um, the contrast. I, I will just a little tiny bit. Okay. And I would lower the highlights only because of the water in the front. But sometimes I would do that with the adjustment brush, depending on how it turns out. Okay. Well, we do that one with the adjustment brush because okay. it's just this area right here, huh? Okay. Okay. Um, I would um. With the adjustment brush, I would probably go into the building and probably lower, I go into the adjustment brush, right? That's what I would do. Um, okay. Lower the exposure just a tiny, tiny bit. And then I would raise the texture. I go into the texture and raise that a little bit or a little bit more than that probably. And I would just run the brush over the building just to see how, just to bring it out a little bit. Okay, before I do that, would you use the auto mask? Joe, I don't know what to tell you to that one. <laughs> okay, well, um, I, the auto, the flow, I have it set at 60 now, but if I made it 100, which we okay. can do, but I'm going to put, I'm going to put auto mask on Mary. Okay. That okay. way, when I paint that in here, as long as that plus sign stays within okay. the subject, it okay. won't spill out. Okay. And if I put on the overlay, you can, well, it spilled out a little bit. Um, so if that happens, if it spills out, then I come in and I do an erase. Okay. And I erase that off where it spilled out. Okay. So let me take that off again. So anything you'd want me to do that now a little bit more? Um the next thing I would do, Joe, is um, that little border at the bottom where the water separates the water from the rocks. Right in here. I would make the brush small, and I would either change the color to make it 
more pronounced or I would bring up the textures or the yeah the textures again and just run a, like a small brush right along the edge there okay and along the rocks just to okay. bring them out a little bit I'm gonna I'm gonna do a new brush now I'm gonna reset everything on the new brush and I bring and the I'm, exposure I'm, down a little bit I'm going to use the auto mask because I just want to be right in here right right okay I want to, I want to use the auto mask and I'm going to make my size a lot smaller. Right. And what would you want me to do up here? I for would the bring, I would bring the, I'd bring the um, exposure down a little bit and bring the textures up. Textures up. Mm -hmm. And then we can just get this selection in here. And you can always make it. OK, well, let me get the selection in here first. And then we can change that any way we want. Uh, and you can always change it back, too, if you don't like it. But I would probably bring the rocks up a little bit too, Joe. I say when you say the rock, uh, I mean on that right here. What is this? What you wanted to do right in here, yeah, Mary? Yeah, I just want to bring that up just to sort of like give it a some kind of definition there, like that maybe. Mm -hmm. Is that enough? Are we done with that? Yeah, I would probably make this side the, the right side a little bit darker. But right now, I would just probably focus on the rocks. I'll do a uh, I'll do a new one. And I will make the right side a little bit darker, like right in here. You're making it lighter, Joe. Hmm? You were making it lighter. I want to. Oh, yeah, there oh, you go. There, okay. okay. Thank you, Mary. You saw me moving it the wrong way. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> uh, okay. And, and what next, Mary? Um, I would do the rocks, the rocks be, between the, the building, the trees. Right in here? Right. I make them a little bit darker, I think. A little bit darker. So we're going to reset everything and double click on the effects. I'm going to take the exposure down. I'm going to do auto mask again to keep me in there. And I'm going to darken those down like that. And I'll come over here and darken those down and over in there and over in there. This is kind of what you thought. Should it be darker or lighter or what? Yeah, probably a little bit lighter, maybe. A little bit lighter. Not that light, yeah. like, like, okay. Let me, uh, like that. Do it this way. Like that little piece right in the middle of the building that that looks real like white. Right here? No, above it. Where, where here? The, and then, Is this where uh, you're talking about? Where are you? Right here. Oh yeah, right, right, right. Okay, I'm gonna do a new brush for that. Okay. I'm gonna bring that down. Okay. Like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How, do you want me to do it over into these rocks? Uh, I mean, to the bricks rather. Sure, why not? You always take them off if you don't like them. I mean, that's too, well, that's dark. I don't like, that's too dark. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, a little bit like that. Dark for me, I should say. Okay. Huh? I would just do the water. I would like to huh? see the water down. And we'll use the radio filter for that. And then we go up like this and hold the shift key so I can get it straight. And I will take it up here. And we just want to affect the water. And I might just do it like that. Okay, so what do you want to do to the water? I, I don't want to like bring the highlights down on that a little bit. The highlights down? Like that? It's a little too much, maybe. Okay. No. Like I'm that? Sure. Yeah, that's a, I'm not sure, Joe. I don't, maybe someone else has some ideas on that one i don't know it just looks too flat to me or something okay well then maybe we can goose it up a little bit with a little bit of clarity but then i have to take the highlights back down okay okay, okay. so that's that uh anybody have other suggestions now like does anybody think we should set the white and black points yes how about a global dehaze just slightly you st i still like the fog but you want a little, I, at least for me, I would like a little more pop. Yeah. How's this mic going to, let me go down like that. That's, uh, too, that's much. too much. Okay. Because I think, and the Stop. photographer can correct me if, if I'm wrong, the, the fogginess is part of the beauty of it, but you also would like a little pop as well. So that's take cool. it down to maybe 25. Okay. 25 minutes. Uh, 30. 30. Uh oh, wrong one. Wait a minute. That was the wrong one. 30. Okay. So is there a way to make the light pop at the top too? You mean like turn it on? 
Oh, no, well, it's like a lighthouse, so I just thought maybe we can make the light up top pop somehow. Well, we could. Uh, Mike, do you have any other suggestions while you're up here? Mike, any other thoughts? No, I, I really just wanted to see the global dehaze to see if it would remove the fog or, or bring it out or exactly what would happen. Anybody else have any other suggestions? Uh, hey, Jill, can, can, does Lightroom do levels? Uh, levels? No, yeah. it doesn't have that concept. We would do that through right in here, exposure and through these controls right in here. Oh, all right. What were you thinking? So I, I what I was, what I was thinking was, um, you, you, know, you know how levels work, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would, I would um, because the, the uh, the, the, yeah, easy for me to say. The histogram is all kind of bunched up toward the midtones. I was going to stretch it out so that you know, so the whites would be whiter and the blacks would be blacker. So, do you, do you mean the, like you might have something like that? Now that is. I have to do it all over again. I, that, that's it's a little over. too dramatic. Right now, <laughs> no, I got to I gotta take the dehaze down now if I'm going to do that. Yeah, exactly. Okay, but thanks, Mark. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, dehaze actually affects levels. Yeah, exactly. And it affects, I can't remember what the other thing is, but it affects clarity or something too. Yeah. Okay. And that's typically else? what I do with, a, with, with something that's bunched up on a histogram. The first thing I do is play with levels. Okay. So, so, so Joe, what was, what was your idea on turning the light on? Um, before, I, I'll show you that in a minute, but, uh, Mark, when you mentioned that, for instance, if I do back here, where the histogram up here is very, very bunched up. Yep. Okay. And by hitting, by doing the whites and the blacks, that'll give you that. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay. And then you can, then you can change that by taste. You don't have to stay right. there. Exactly. It just gets you in the ballpark, you know, if okay. I do that here and, um, uh, here whites okay that gets me there now um up here in the um i'm using the adjustment brush i'm going to be on auto mask and i could if i wanted to and i'm going to put on i'm tapping the o in the keyboard to to show me what i'm masking so if i do that i can see that i'm right inside there and i don't want to go over it but i did and I will take that. Oh, so I have to go to a smaller brush. Okay. And I'll put that back. And now I'm going to turn that off because I have that selected. And if I want to, I could warm that up. That's and I could turn the light on a little bit. Okay. I could actually do that. Okay. And that works real well for street lights and things like that when you're doing night photography, which will come into a, a helpful when we go down to Harrisburg. We'll want to turn on a, a maybe enhance a street light or something. That's what I meant, Patty. It looks great. Yeah, um, Joe, on that, on that building, the, the tower going up, there's a really dark spot right in there up higher. Can you lighten that just a right little bit? We could do that. Yeah. And I know that... Um, I thought maybe Mike would pick me up on that and give me the raspberries. Well, it's early. I'm, I'm going to give you the raspberry. <laughs> hey, Joe. Wait a minute. Joe. Yeah, wait a minute. I'm just, yeah. okay, yes, sir. Uh, I, I, I would prefer to see the uh, lighthouse a little off center. Move maybe to the left a little bit. You mean over here? Uh, I, 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 yeah, to, to crop off a little, if there's more in the image, I'd just like to see it slid over because I'm very curious to know what's around the corner there uh, to the right. So, so this is what you mean by doing this? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I think compositionally that's better, but that's just my opinion. Okay. Anybody else? Anybody think we should do that a tad? What if you crop down a little bit of the hazy portion at the top? Okay, we could do that. 
and then weigh it be a little uh, more proportional with the off center component now. You could do that. Does anybody have a problem with me cutting that tree off there? I do. I do too. I do too. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm hesitating. Uh, um, you, can't, you can't come that close to it, Joe. The uh, one on the left. Yeah. Here, this Gotta guy stay here. there. Gotta yeah. stay there. Yeah. So I can't bring that down. Now, do you? Okay. Joe, Anything what? Else? What would it look like if you took some of the color out of the background and just you mean like right drop in here? the color a little bit? Are, so you, talking you, about, are you talking about the, right in here? Lower the opacity of the color. In in, in the where in this the area? background. You mean all green. over the whole thing? Um, you could play around with it. I think it looks bright. The trees look awful bright. These trees here look bright. Yeah. Uh, desaturating okay. all. Desaturate the, the yeah, trees well, we can, in the background. So your eyes go to the, the church, or not the church, <laughs> the lighthouse. Let's. I'm going to use this tool, and I'm going to take that down a little bit, like that. I mean. Yeah. I, well. Not quite that far. Not quite that much. Just the hair. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is that a hair, or is that a hair and a half? I don't know. I um, might be able to take. I I don't know. It, it depends on what people like. You know, everybody might have a different opinion. Right. But, I probably would take it down just the hair. Okay. How about like that? Yeah. Okay. So that, that plays into the oldness of the lighthouse. Also, it makes it look like a like the photograph itself is old. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Does anybody think we should apply the Orton effect to that and see what that can do? Hey, Joe, this is Mark Corchado. Before you do that, can you yeah. take that dark tree in the upper right hand corner and lighten that up a little bit? Yeah, my eye keeps going up there. Okay. Um, we could take it out or we could. Um, you could it. clone it, I guess, if you want. But you I, might have I to could Photoshop to do that. Now, uh, actually, I, I could I could do that. And but let me do this first. I'm going to I'm going to uncrop it, and then I'll come back and crop it again. Okay, so I uncropped it. I'm now going to do a clone on this. Now that's not too bad, is it? What do you think? Do it on Crop that it little there. white spot that's catty corner to it also. What, what, what white spot? It's yeah. it's to the right about left. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, now I'm gonna come back to that crop that we had. And let me go to the um, and that was like this. Oops. Oh, come on. I have a lock. No wonder. Will you stop it? There. And we brought it in a little bit like that, didn't we? Mm -hmm. And then we want to have it like that. Okay. So there, how's that? Okay. Along, I was going to say along the wall, um, where the water is off to the right, it kind of seems to come in towards the tree line, and that's a little distracting. Kind of on the beach area, if you will. I'm not following you there. Um, on the far right. Okay, right here. Right there. Yep, that line there. You mean you mean this log? Is that a log? Yeah, okay. that's a log. Yeah, it's a little distracting. It looks like it's kind of part of the wall. Okay, now I'm going to try and get that out, but I may not be successful because, as you probably well know, this is not Lightroom's key strength. But not bad. Not bad. There. Okay. Okay, so that was 15 minutes on one image. So, um, how about we move on to another one? Okay. How about looking at that one side by side? Oh, okay. We can do that. That's a good idea. And 
down. Oh, come on. What did I do? Let me go to the history. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I do. Can I tell you something important about that box? Can anybody hear me? Uh, there we go. Okay. And the library, do X and Y. Oh, wow. And there. That's what we did. Wow. Not too shabby, is it? Right? Yeah. Pretty darn nice. Okay. Let's move on to will, our will next. She, will she now get a more valuable prize for this? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> we think we should get a group prize. All right. Anything would be a more valuable prize. <laughs> okay, now we're going to come to Rich. Rich, uh, we're not going to get to both of them. So which one would you like to work on? This one here or that one? Um. The one in the tree, I think. This one here? Yeah. Okay. So I was down at Qantas Lake and I missed the trip with the club, but I live close to Qantas Lake. So I went down and just was practicing or, and I kind of liked the way I sort of caught his eye. I only had a 200 millimeter lens, but I kind of liked the way his neck was going. And, it, and, and as I went into photo or uh, Lightroom, I just didn't, I wasn't sure how to actually process it because I kept hitting the auto button, which is what I usually do. And then it didn't like what that did. So I wanted to see what, what we could do with it. Okay. So do you, do we want the whole image or do we want to crop something? Do we want to keep this guy in it? And do we nope. want to have this in or what? Uh -huh. Sherry, what do you, what's your thoughts? I would crop it down a little bit. I don't know how much detail the bird has. Uh, there's, yeah, quite a, there's a good bit of detail on here. I would take out the, the bird that you can see the back end there on the left. Yeah. Like that. And how about over here, maybe? Yeah. And some, of, some of the sky. Right. Right. Not like that. Yeah. Okay. Let's see how that looks. Okay. Now let's zoom in on him and see how, she, how he looks. There's some detail there. Now, um, there's definitely some detail. Should we, on our crop, should we try and do this maybe? Since he's looking that way. Good idea. Think? Good idea, Joe. Okay. So anybody have anybody else have some suggestions? I would turn down the highlights. On take the highlights down on the bird. Uh, just on the bird okay then we'll do that and we'll take the highlights i'm going to take them way down and i'm going to zoom in and and don't i'm i go change this but i just want to take them down like this okay and then we can bring what, them back what up. would happen if you added some clarity well we could do that and, you know, if I'd have to be candid with you, if, if we could, if we put this into Topaz Sharpen, it would make a huge difference. It would just bring all the detail right back. And, uh, and it's, it would. And actually, there's a couple that I will, if we get to them tonight, I'll show you where we did that already, and it looks pretty cool. Would you do that first? Uh, yes, I would. I would do that first to see if it's going to look good okay and see if it's worthwhile okay and and generally i can tell you i know this one would but i would do that pretty early and um, myself and if i did that i would make sure that the sharpening was down to zero and i happen to keep all my sharpening at zero and i bring it up as needed okay so i could if we took that bird and since it's at zero I could take the sharpening up like that. And let me go in a little bit more. Let me go into 200%. And you can see that there's some nice detail in there, okay? Now it's a little pixelated only because 
uh, a JPEG came into us. Okay, this is not because of his image. This is a high quality image. It's just that the JPEG has a little bit of pixelization as you can see there. Joe, would you bring it up the, the clarity or something? Would you bring out more detail in the verse? Well, I could, but if I do, well, let me do that. I could bring up, I'm already up in clarity, 43. Oh, okay. So, I mean, I could, but I'm already pretty high. And, and I, if I go any higher, it's going to start falling apart. Would texture help? Uh, texture could, but it may also do that. No, it didn't. Uh, a little bit. See here, right along here, it's starting to come apart. Yeah, yeah. 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 And you just got to be a little careful of that. And it could okay. be my sharpening too. And like I said, if I were to use topaz sharpened, it would sharpen it up perfectly. I sat down and twisted. What? That way back to the chair. I can't hear you. Is somebody talking? Okay, any other suggestions on this one? You think you can clone out some of those br uh, branches in the lower part of the picture? And right in the here? Entry? Yeah. I can, but I, I got to tell you, I wouldn't do it in Lightroom. That's really, I mean, I'll, let me show you. I'll do that, but I, I don't think you're going to be happy with an opacity feather. Okay. Joe, would it help if, oh, sorry. Let me, let me, let me finish this. No. <laughs> it's, it's. The Lightroom is not good for this one. It really needs to go to Photoshop and um, to do that. So, but I'm, but that's Photoshop would do a perfect job. But yes, that would be a, like over in here, particularly mm -hmm. those would be really well done. And and I'm not real personally, I'm not real happy how this is getting cut off on the left hand side there. And so I think it may we may be able to do that and then take that bird out. Right. Okay. But again, we, we're not going to go to that point because I have to go to Photoshop and it'll take us much longer. Any other suggestions? Can you lighten the shadows up in the tree? The tree yeah. start. Can we lighten the shadows on the tree? Let's see here. Can we lighten like that? Oh, uh, yeah, that looks better. Is that a little better? Try a warmer, try a warmer temperature as well, because when you pull those shadows open, yep. you could see a more, a warmer light actually. So go ahead and either saturate it a little or pull up the temperature. It'll make it look more sunsetty. I just increased the temperature. How about that? That's better. Oh yeah. Even that. Yeah, but I like that's, that. Now, that's I'm gonna, pretty, now I'm blowing out the bird, so I have, yeah, to that's pretty far. I have to come to him, and now I got to take the exposure down a little bit on him, and so he's not blown out. Now that really warmed up the sky too. If it's too much, yeah, just back it off a little. Okay, there we go. Like even there, or 15 is fine. Okay. That's better. Somewhere better? Mm hmm yep. Anybody think we should do that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. How about we move on to the next one, okay? And we are going to go to Terry's. Uh, Terry has one up from um, uh, Bethlehem Steel, and then he has this really, really cool flower, which I absolutely love that flower. And um, Terry, if you don't have a preference, I'm going to suggest this one because I think we can make wonders with that. I, I would do that one, please. Okay. So here that we're going to do it. Uh, tell us about it. Uh, that was taken down at Longwood Gardens which is my second favorite place on earth. Uh, it was taken a 7D Mark II, one 320th of a second F45, ISO was 100. Okay. And spot metering, 105 uh, macro lens, and it was manual mode. Okay. Um, I wanna hear comments from the, from the group. Uh, just conceptually, what do you think we might wanna do with this? 
So Joe, can you add a slight vignette to that? We can. Okay, we could do that. But before I do that, just generally, what are you thinking? Do we need to crop it? Some... Pardon me? I would crop it up from okay. the bottom and from the right. Okay. And do are we do we want to do yeah, something with this stuff? The highlights. How about blowing the highlights? Yeah, that's too bright. Okay. Do we want to make it a black background? Yeah. We do? Terry, you said yes. 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 Yeah, I would, yeah. I'm going to do that. I'm going to make this. I'm going to use the radio filter. Okay. I'm going to reset everything. And I'm going to darken it, the stuff on the outside, a lot. Okay. Okay. So that's. How's that? But this is dark in here now, isn't it? You bring that out. We gotta do something. Be. So let's take and lighten that up a little bit. Now I'm gonna turn off the auto mask for this. I'm turning that off now because I'm don't want that on. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm going to add a little bit of clarity to it, and I'm going to maybe juice it up a little bit. What do you think? A little bit. That's too much. Okay. Now, do we want to lighten these or not? Yes. We do? I would. Okay, we will do that. We're going to do a new one. Oh, where's my brush? Here we go. It doesn't have to be the whole thing. It could no, be just, just part of it. Okay. Just try it. And I'm going to use auto mask. And I'm going to brighten these up a little bit like that. This kind of, I'm not going to do real detail here because I'll just I'll just goose up some of them. Notice how that's staying within on the flower as long as I keep the plus sign there. That's the beauty of this thing. Oops. So there, I did that. So anything else we might want to do? Uh, someone mentioned a vignette. Let's try that. Ooh. What about that green behind that bottom right hand? It's so, it's like highlighted. Too bright. No, above that, right, yeah, that. That there. Okay. Oops. Right in here, we want to get rid of this, right? Correct. Oh, oh we're in the wrong one. Okay. Obviously, I'm not doing a real good job here. Okay, well. And I could play around with that, like right in here, and do that, and in here, but. But it's still it's still darker. Okay, let's. So can Lightroom um, pick a color, and work only with that color, like desaturate the green yeah. a little yeah. bit? Yes. Yeah, we we can certainly do that. Let's try okay. that. Okay, saturation, and we want to do like this green right here. Yeah. Right. Oh, I'm never, I meant I meant to be on saturation. Playing from Sherry's iMac. How about that? Yeah, I want to go out. I don't see a difference. I'm trying to separate the green from the flower itself right. to make the green fall in the background more. Right. Okay. How about that? No. I'm taking all the saturation out now. It's black and white. How about cloning some of it out of there? I could. I Especially could the lower parts that are there. I, I There's one other thing. If, instead of cloning it, I could do this. And I think uh, since I'm in Lightroom and um, Just I... Um, knock the exposure down a lot on that. 
Yeah. There you go. And I could take some of that out by doing this. And giving me more feathering. I don't think I have my much feathering. I do have it on there. Okay. Um, I could do that. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Let's see how that looks. All right. Got the idea. Now, I, I mean, I'm, I'm butchering this a little bit, as you can see, but um, I, um, I'm sort of missing the greens. I sort of like that yellow green. Okay. Well, can you increase the yellows? Oh, uh, can we increase the yellows in the plant? Sure. Let me do that. Let's go down. And that, it depends on what effect you want, though. You know, people okay, well, might. I'll tell you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something, and I know you've, we have talked about it before. I'm gonna try the Orton effect on this. Okay. And here's what I'm going to do. And then we'll come back and take that off if we want to. But what I'm going to do is, and, and wait until I do all three things before you moan and groan, OK? <laughs> I'm going to increase the contrast. I'm going to take the clarity down. And I'm going to bring the saturation up. Now, that is too much. But this is kind of the. Orton effect that you may have heard about. And um, let me come back to this is what it was. And by adding the Orton effect, you get that glow to it. Now, some people like it and some people don't. Okay, that just all depends. And let's take this full screen. And that's what it looks like. Now we have to clean it up a little bit more, but that is um, full screen and let me take the that was the way it was and this is where we are so what do you guys think of that do you like that effect or not do you think that's kind of hokey i like it i like the effect uh but i you still haven't solved some of the other cleanup problems. Right, exactly, right in here. Yeah. No, no, I'm. You, you, you know, I can do that. I just don't want to spend the time because no. we got we got a lot more to go through. Okay, and and I I did this prior to, and I had them cleaned up. Like if I really wanted to, I could um, come in here and get rid of that, and come in here, and I, I mean I could do that if I spent the time. Okay. Right. And I just don't want to do that. So, hey, Joe, I kind of have to mention this. I keep seeing a face in there. Uh, the uh, 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 knob in the middle is the skull. And down to the southeast, I see a pair of glasses. And down below <laughs> that, I see a pair of glasses. Oh, yeah. Here. And once well, I saw it, I can't believe it. Right here. Right in here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. OK. And this is the nose, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. Okay. We're I think move. that's a bonus. There, okay. Uh, that's good. So we're going to move on. We it's ten minutes till nine, and this and is eight. Mike Lackey. Mike, tell us about this one. This was taken at Anderson Mill. Um, probably should have been in HDR. Um, the window to the left is way overexposed. And not the most creative photo in the world, but I was just trying to capture that wall with, you know, all the antiques and stuff on it. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Just try to get rid of some of that haze and some of that harsh fill light. Okay. Anybody have any suggestions? E haze. Okay. And I do the radio filter. Uh, radio or the graduated filter? Let's try no, both. No, the graduated filter. I'm sorry, graduated. Okay. And, 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 and then use the dehaze. <laughs> now, this over here on this side is pretty nice. Mm -hmm. It's just in here, and it gets worse as you move over. And so, if we were to do that and then take the dehaze, and we have done that. Whenever you use dehaze, it cools the image. It always does that, okay? That's just the nature of the beast. 
and we have now done that and we may want to do another one and bring back some um, some detail in here but now let's just take that okay that was that and now there's where we are joe can you warm that left side up just out over here yeah like yeah from I can do that and I will do that. Let me ask you, do you think we need to do anything more in here? Um, do we need, if I take a dehaze more, I mean, I'm going to see what it, it blotches yeah. it up there. I okay, don't know so if I, I like what it, the dehaze did. Like here or like? I, in, I think it made it too blue or something. And it does. And that, yeah, you have, it always does that. So you have to warm it up a little bit. Yeah. Like that. Not hey, Joe, just a comment before you go too far with it. I don't think that window really adds anything to the wall, which is the same topic. Why don't you just crop the window out and then work on the rest of it? Okay, let's do that. Like that. Yeah. Like that. And maybe we could... Let's straighten it up over there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We could... Uh, of course, I don't know if there's anything straight in that place. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'd pull a little bit off the top too, just to make it a little less square. Okay. And a little uh, off the bottom. I don't. Do you, I'm not sure if that tank adds. Do you want to be up against that plug? And I don't think you want to get into that wire. I think you want to it's stay with the wire at the bottom. Now, uh, these I wire, want that to disappear. Wait, 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 these wires. Wait, yeah, I that, want that, those out. That's yeah, the that, only that, thing that looks modern in the whole thing. Yeah, that, those could be. As a matter of fact, let me uh, let me undo that crop. Okay. I do agree. I hate the plugs. It it, it adds. That's not how it was originally. Okay. Let know? me see if we can get rid of that within Lightroom. See if I can get rid of that. Uh, no, it's not it's not it, it really this is what needs to be done in photoshop you just lightroom just does not do a good job of it but this in light in photoshop would be a piece of cake getting rid of this and this over in here and this guy here and here and taking him out would just be really a piece of cake okay in photoshop but in lightroom it isn't so and we're not gonna we're not gonna go there right now okay so just Sorry about that, but we just don't have time for that. So anything else we might want to do to it? Joe, can you yeah. bring up, I don't know if anyone else wants to do this, but bring up some textures in that wood. Textures. And let's zoom in on that so we can see what it's doing on the textures. You can now, bring it up, yeah. And don't yeah. think that this image is, is because of that softness there. That's because of the compression on the, um, on the on the JPEG that was sent to us, because this is a very very sharp image. Anything else anybody might want? I would no. say the magenta is off to the left, or right, a little what? high. What what would you say, Mike? Like, like the color temperature off to the left. Um, it's a little bit of magenta. Maybe bring that down a little. Okay. And Did try you... to match the browns of the wood. Maybe bring the temperature up if you can mask it. All right, here's what we'll do. We will, I'm just gonna select it here. Now don't think this is the color, I'm just selecting it so I know where I am. Okay, I'm gonna turn that off. And we want to take that temperature down a little bit. I would pull it up to make it a little warmer. Like that? Yeah, and bring the, uh, the tint down a little bit maybe. There you go. Like and Joe, can I ask a quick question? Yeah. When you're doing that, how do you turn the red mask off so you oh, can see what you're doing? The O key. Oh, okay. Thank you. Just the O key. Gotcha. Joe, the highlight that's on that uh, tin can up on the top of the shelf. Can yeah, you bring that down just a little bit? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Joe? Just without the window there, it's just too bright. Yeah, there it's um, there you go. It, yeah, it's falling apart a little bit. 
uh, I can see here this. I can see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. it's falling apart a little bit. But look at the blue in there, huh? Yeah, that's lots. That's Mr. D. Hayes that does that. Okay, anything else? I, I would take that spot where it's white on an angle above the pipe right there. I would sort of maybe tone that down a little bit. Take it out. Or take it out if you want. Okay. Um, I'm not doing it well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my flow down quite a bit and then I can build it up because I'm going to do this here. And I go, each time I go back, it gets a little bit darker. I did do that. No, I didn't. It's a little bit darker there. And I got my brushes too big. Okay, well, I'm going to do that, but then I'm going to erase what I goofed up on. <clears throat> Okay. Much better, Joe. That's better. But anything else before we move on? Can you just try and adjust the black point and the white point in this just a little bit? You can do that. I want to see. I want to see what it's going to do. That's black and white points. Did we put any clarity on it? Do I have clarity on? I don't. But I can do that. I probably would. And I just did put it up yep. to 30. Hey, Joe. Yes. Look at the top but on the wall, just above the, looks like a heater. There's a face right there on the wall. Okay. See it? You no, see I... the eyes and you see his nose. Okay. Okay, anything no. else? We, we're almost eight o'clock now, <laughs> and we only got through three images. Okay. Is it too, is it too late, not time-wise, but um, in your work-wise, to get to that left-hand side again? No, it's not too late. Okay, like, could, could you have... pull the tint toward green just a little bit and see if that, it's still kind of a touch magenta. And okay. Mike said he thought it was a little magenta too. Okay. So pull the tint back if you could, little tiny bit toward the green side. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, and this is the area we're talking about, right, Mike? Yeah, and then straight down the side too. Oh, down this way too. Right See there. what that does. Okay. And now what we want to do is what? Pull back on the tint just ever so slightly toward the green side, not the temperature, the tint. Go toward the green. Go the, go the other way. Okay, I'm going to the green. I want to see if that'll defeat the magenta at all. Not that's too far. Okay. All right, not so much. Pull cool up the temperature a little bit, maybe. Cool it. Okay. Oh, I don't know. That's going to make it blue, more blue. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, no, go to I the right. Turn okay. it down. Or yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> there you go. It's purple now. I'm using ah. the uh, use slider here. <laughs> it's purple okay. now. It's not so okay. blue. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna suggest we move on to another image, okay? Because uh, you know um, we just need to do that. Okay, we got George Ryan up here. George, you have two images. Which one should we use? 
uh, uh, the tree. I, I, I know what to do with the first one, but the uh, tree I took in fog at Blowing Rock, and I'm not sure what to do to make it a good picture, if it's possible. Okay. Go someplace else and take a picture, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, someone's going to have to guide me through this one because I uh, tell me what you think. I would start by pulling down the highlights and bringing the shadows out a little bit. Um, that's usually how I start out. And then I would try to dehaze a little just to kind of see what the background looks like. Nope, too blue. Yeah. Unless you add some gold. What'd you say? Add some warm. Would that help? I kind of like it almost the way it is. Maybe put a tiny bit of uh, vignette on it. Tiny bit. But I like the picture. Oh, thank you. George, where did you say you took this? At Blowing Rock, North Carolina. Okay. It, it's a rainy day and there's lots of fog. And, 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 and I thought, well, gosh, uh, I, I should take more fog pictures. And that was an opportunity. It may be that it would look better in black and white. Joe, did you think of maybe cropping it from the left in and from the top down a little bit? Tell me when, Mary. No, no, from the left. Oh, I'm sorry, from the right. I'm sorry, Joe, from the right. And then from the top down a little bit. Because it just sort of brings out the brush or the tree more to me. How about we, how about we do this? If George likes it, you know. I like anything you do, Mary. <laughs> Thanks, George. I think we should goose up those rocks a little bit. Yes. No, 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 no. Okay. Can you use the adjustment brush and like make the exposure a little bit lighter and just sort of like, sort of maybe spot spot it in the tree a little bit just to give a little brightness maybe on the, on this the main tree mm -hmm. okay so you mean like add some light highlights to it like right. in here but the bigger brush though you know not a little yeah. is that an interesting house on the upper right yeah, yeah. <laughs> i kind of if, if that's an interesting house i wouldn't mind seeing that a little bit Well, it was hard to tell when I took it because of the fog and I was getting rained on and the rest. And even now, I, I don't know whether that's a rock and a tree or a house. Just to solve the mystery, you could clone it out. Yeah, we did. <laughs> okay, did, I added some spots of color in there. Okay. And... Um... I did that, so this is what that effect had. Okay. Now this up very here, subtle. I mean, do you really They're want- They're worthwhile, very subtle. Yeah. Do you want, you want to try and bring this out or just yeah. wipe them out? <laughs> Are you talking to me? Yeah, who, anybody, because you talked about- this. Because it is out. Ah. Mm -hmm. But no. is it something we want to? Well, no. no, that would be distracting. We, we could. Let's just let's just do this. No, I'm uh, not doing this well at all. But oh, oh shoot! I meant to put a lace. Yeah. I brought them out a little bit, but I don't know. It looks like a dark spot now. Yeah. I think it'd be better cloned out. <laughs> I think so too. Uh, let, me, yeah. let me try my clone tool here. And I don't know if this is going to work too good up here. That didn't work very good. 
and I have to tell you, if, if you, the Sun and Heal work sometimes, but not on tricky stuff like this in, in Lightroom. It just doesn't do a good job. It's not its skill set. Okay, want to move on to another image? Yep. Time? Thank you, guys. Okay, thank you, George. Okay, Rod, we have uh, two images of yours here. Which one would you like to work on? Uh, we'll do the stop sign. The stop sign? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I I took this uh, two years ago. I could have taken it two weeks ago, but that was too close when I had my basement flooded. Uh, so I left this uh, left this in from two years ago uh, from the Conant of Gwinnett. And I thought it was just a, a unique shot telling you, don't go there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay so okay guys i need some help here to i would straighten that horizon joe okay miss mary i'm gonna do that i didn't do it very good. I like that. maybe like that yeah oh it's a stop sign straight i guess i'm going with that yeah. there you go okay now what? turn down the highlights and turn see what happens with the shadows I took the highlights down. That's good. Maybe add some black. Some black. Well, well clarity, maybe. Clarity. Okay, I'm just going to do black. I did black and whites. Now I'm going to add some clarity. All right. That okay. green seems bright. The green does, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, How about textures, Joe? You can bring up textures. I did a lot now. That's way too much. Yeah. So we'll just do a little bit. Okay. Can you um does that does that tree on the right bother anybody that this sort one right of here? In yeah. and out. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. And maybe bring it up on the bottom, maybe. Yeah, or bring it out a little further, Joe, or to the right. Yeah. Yeah, I like that better. Okay. So, yeah. How about we accentuate this? Mm -hmm. I really like that myself. Okay, anything else? I actually thought the um, the pavement at the bottom kind of gave more story and context to what was going on. Yeah. Because it's a road, right? Like that. Right. And and we have a flooded road. And I thought if we brought the left in and made this more of a portrait as opposed to a landscape and kept some of that grassy stuff on the side there to the right, it, it might be maybe using the rule of thirds a little bit could uh i don't want me so this is this is i did a portrait yeah so keep going to the right and have some of that grass in there too like that uh, i would keep going over i would put the stop sign kind of far to the left yeah oh that that looks pretty good The only thing is, if you have it here, this is where you drive. And right here, yeah. you don't drive there. You're, yeah, you're kind of taking some of the drama away from the photo. Yeah, but I really yeah. like your idea. If you're gonna leave that, if you're gonna leave that road in there, can you just darken it a little? Absolutely, we could do that. Cost twenty five cents. Thanks. <laughs> I'll, I'll pay I you later. That's steep. I hate to say it at this point, <laughs> at this point but you don't don't really need the road. Uh, the stop sign implies a road. It does, but it also shows kind of where the flooding is occurring. But I do agree with what you said. I like the road in there. I think I like it in too. I do too. Okay, there were three for the roads and two for against the road. So uh, well, I, 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 I like the road I'll as break well. The tie. I like the road. <laughs> okay. I like the road as well. All right. So are you going to knock the greens down a little? 
Uh, no, we could, please we could, don't. We could duck the, the greens down a little bit. Please Just don't. A little. Please don't. No. Right. Okay. Because there's a nice there, there's a, that nice contrast between the red stop sign and the green and the grass, and if you take that away, Sherry it's, on that. Good opposite it colors. Have to be yeah. that right though. It, it looks like the Grinch is fur. <laughs> I'm taking the green down a little bit here. That's better. This is about where we were. I would actually like halfway. That looks good. I think. I would actually also darken the foreground more so that the stop sign that's in the water, the reflection gets brighter or more, more pronounced instead. Uh, you're, with, you're, with saying, all... you're saying darken this a little bit, this area yeah. here. Yeah, okay. we could do that. Do a do a neutral density kind of filter up to the stop sign. Looks like a job for the uh, graduated filter. That's what I mean. Um, that that would be, but I got I'm gonna I'm gonna use the brush on this one. I, I could do that, but then if I use a graduated filter, this is gonna get well. I could wipe it out. No, that's a good point. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make hold the shift key to get me straight. And let's take the exposure down, something like that. Now I'll have to, I'll take this off, okay? Uh, what I did there. But is that kind of what you're thinking? Yeah, maybe up a little bit more so that it kind of, because it's darker up at the top. Yeah, there you go. That's good. Like that. <clears throat> now if you can bring, if you can pop the red in the sign that's in the water. That I, I will do that, but I'm going to, Take what I did off down in here, because I already did that. So I'm going to take that out because it looks too dark, I think. So and I and maybe in, maybe increase the saturation in the in the uh, stop sign of the stop sign. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I am going to do it this way. And now I am going to I'm going to do that. I'm just going to increase the saturation. <clears throat> there we go. We're getting there. Yeah. Okay. Now I could make it exactly the same color, but it would look hokey. Can't have that. Okay. About it's uh, eight fifteen. Do you want to do another one, folks? Sure. Okay. Yes. We we have thirty five people still. Okay. And let's do Norbert Fry is not here. Are you here, Norbert? Nope. Mike Donovan's here. And this is Mike Donovan's image. Mike, tell us where this was taken and stuff. Uh, this is taken at what was once the Silver Springs Golf Course, which is now a, a nature's preserve. Mm -hmm. um, and really, it's a, a quick grab shot because of the purple and yellow, the complementary colors together. So that was my, my main grab there. And I've done some editing of my own, but I wanted to throw this in because it looks like just a normal picture and see what everybody comes up with. Okay. So from my perspective, this is just me talking. It looks like this is the main subject and these are the supporting elements. And it looks like they're all jumbled together. Would that be you? How about cropping it to a square and cutting off a lot of that bottom? Okay, we could do that. I want to see a little bit more of the black at the top. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> can like you that. put the, can you put the flower on a third? We can. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm on that one to one crop, so I'm going to just say as okay. a shot, and I can bring this up like that. Uh, 
Um, I'm going to suggest something and, and give me a minute to try something and then we'll come back and I, uh, You put a lens blur on it. Yeah, I'm blurring this dramatically. Okay. And I'm going to take, I still want the color, but I want to blur it dramatically in my mind anyways. Okay? I like that. And, and that makes him pop or her pop, whatever. Okay, do that. And let me just take that full screen and see what you guys think. Okay, and let me take it back. That was that. Now, now. I like it. What do you guys think? Does it look hokey? Much better. Okay. Looks good. Okay, and then if I were to touch of that, I, you know what? Whenever I do that, I have to always look at this because it always shows up on this. I'm pointing now, you can't see where I'm pointing, <laughs> okay? It shows up on this really gross and like that. Now, do you think it's too dark, the whole image? Yes. I do too. The flower. Yeah, okay. Boy, that's a beautiful, sharp image. Okay, now we can pretend like we're uh, critiquing um, <laughs> Mike shot. So anybody want to complain about anything and, and we can nail them on it? I'm just being facetious now, okay? Um, but, so let's see here. Mike, what do you think? Is this too I much? I think so far so good. I'd like to drop a little bit off the top though. Okay. Like this, down to there. Try that and see. Like right here or down a little bit? A little bit more, yeah, not that far. Right there? Yeah, try that. Okay. Now, Joe, if you wanted to put uh, put the purple flower on uh, uh, a PowerPoint on the rule of sixes, I would crop it from the left side because that way you get to keep uh, most of the brilliant yellow over there. If you go the other way, you're gonna lose some. I mean, are you saying bring the crop in this way? I, 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 I know what I'm saying is it, it, crop off some of the left side. This side over here? Yeah. Like that? I just, <clears throat> just, a bit I just a bit more. Okay. That really didn't move that onto a PowerPoint, did it? Oh. Um, how about if we went back to this guy and we darkened that a little bit? You think that looks better with it's darker? Is it a little bit? I'm thinking it gives us some depth, but I don't know because if they're the same tones, it tends to be on the same plane. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? Is this a spider or something? Oh, that's. I don't know what that is. It's the flower. Okay. Any other suggestions or? Joe, I wonder if you reverse that operation, it would still give you more depth. I reverse. mean, make the dark ground you mean a bit darker it... and the foreground a little bit lighter. Um, what were you suggesting, George? I make like that? Oh, okay. Uh, and, and no, make the uh, uh, background darker and the foreground a bit lighter. I think you still get depth that way and you're accentuating what's the, the real subject. So, you, okay, you're saying make, now make this the flower darker, or brighter. Yeah. So, okay. It's just a suggestion that may not work. We'll find out.
something like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What do you guys think? That may have been a bit strong. <laughs> okay. No, I think it's. I think it's fine. It. It. I wanted to put a tough one in there on purpose, and it looks good. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't look too corny either, you know. Like, um, if since this is all sharp, it's on the same plane, you know. And uh, so, okay. Let's see what else we have here. We have Steve Boutte is not here, so we won't do his. Let's go back and okay. Okay, we got that one. Yeah. Who, who would like to have? Here's what we got. Let me just um, put them all up there and let me get rid of this. We have the Ironworks one. This guy here? Yeah. Okay, anybody else? Any other ones? That, well, here's Steve Boutte's. And um, I'm going to try this one. This is a little bit more challenging, huh? Okay. And let me see. I have to go to my notes. And I'm not looking at these. I'm going to make a copy. We'll make this the last one then, okay? We, this is too bright, don't you think? Could you just crop it down? Yeah. To the well, top we of the could. Windows? We could crop it down. I think I like it like that, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, it depends if you want the top one or not. Let's crop it and just see what it looks like. Okay, let me, uh, since I started this. That's fine. Okay, so that's one way. I'm gonna finish that and then we can come back and then come back and then crop it. Okay, we can do that. And definitely clarity. Right, before we do that, oh. All right. I like it crop. Yeah, looks more better, doesn't it? Maybe it's yeah. cropped too much. Do you think it's cropped a touch too much? Try going up a little and then just darken in the top part. There you go. Okay, how about that? Gives you a good leading, gives you a good leading line with the lights in it better. I like okay. it. Okay. So now, um, this is this is too dark. Maybe, of course, it, it used the flash on this, right? No, we didn't. We didn't use the flash. We used flashlights. Okay, flashlights. Okay. And we we tried to paint it in, but when you get all the way in the back, our lights couldn't reach back sure. there. Sure. Sure. Um, so, God, what do you guys think we should do here? Anything? I, I, yeah, I think that back ought to, ought to be lightened up somewhat because you've got a wonderful leading line over here uh, over these yellow uh, round tub like things uh, uh, leading back. Uh, uh, can you, to that so can you the bring end. the shadows up back there, Joe? Okay, so what do you what were you saying? Brighten this up, George? Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and also that line running uh, uh, down the left side too. On this right in here? On kind of those objects. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. Okay. Now, I mean, I could do that globally. Let me just take it up globally and see what it does. Okay, just get an idea. Okay. Now I brought the whole thing up globally. And uh, and actually that was not too bad, is it? No. Yeah. Okay. Let me just see what this is. Well, we take the color away. Um, so what else do you think we might want to do? Anything? Want to bring up a little bit of texture because that's pretty darn gritty stuff. Yep. I like that. I like it in black and white. Yeah, yeah. I do too. I'm going to use a uh, one of these LUTs in here, however. Let me try that. Uh, I like it much better in black and white. Yeah, it's, uh, this is my go-to one uh, for me anyways, is the uh, number seven and um, but we have all of these to choose. So I'm just going to go through them and you tell me that's too bright, huh? Yep. That is too dark. Do you think I never, ever, ever use these? Black and white. How about a split? Sepia. 
Yeah, how about that? Can you brighten it up a little though? Oh, I'm sure. If you use it? I'm sure. Uh, I'm gonna bring the shadows up back in there, yeah. Oh, that's pretty yeah. cool. Can you try taking the highlights down maybe? If you, we could take the highlights down. Since you brought the... Um, do we want to do the highlights just on these guys in the front? Yes. Yeah, I think, I think so. I would, that window in the back catches my eye. Okay, so let's try and I'm just going to use the adjustment brush on this one. And I'm going to take the highlights down. And I'm going to turn off this and I'm probably going to need to take the exposure down. A little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Just take the edge off of that. There you go. Okay. And now back in here, do something back here. Or do you want that back in there? Uh, I kind of want it. <laughs> do we want more detail in here? If you can. I can. I'd like to get a bit lighter. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this and exposure up in the shadows. And and let me take the shadows up more. There we go. Oh, that's a that's a beautiful image, isn't it? Yep. Wow. How about if um Wow, that's pretty nice. So let's take, let's look to see what we got here for before and after. There. Yeah, huge difference. Yeah. Terry, what do you think? I, I like it. That's that. That's much nicer. You we, we really, we really, it was hard to shoot because there was no light. Do we want to put, do we want to brighten these windows up a little bit? Uh, Depends what you want for the attention getter in the image. Yeah, that's true. I think that, uh, brighter would be too bright. <laughs> okay. I, I kind of like the brightest one being that one in the back because it takes you right back into it. Right, yeah, it, and you know, I all the arches right go it. back into it. Everything. Yeah. You know, I'm going to try something. I don't know if this is going to work or not. But what I'm going to do, if you went, if I go to um, basic color, you see these here. Yep. Yeah, you're going to highlight them going back. I'm going to try and hi highlight them and going back exactly. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this whole area. Okay. And increase the contrast. I'm going to use the range mask. I'm going to take it to color. Um, i got to cancel this for a second. I'm going to take it to color so I can see what the heck I'm doing. Okay. So now I'm going to do this. And I'm going to go all the way back and ignore the red. But now I've got that chosen, so I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to take and increase the exposure. But I'm only going to do it for the yellow. So I am going to take this. And I'm only going to use that eyedropper on the yellow and, and nothing else. And, and I'm now going to do that. And I'm going to increase the exposure. It should be just on the yellow or close by. I'm going to say done. I'm going to take it back to my black and white number. Where was sepia? Where were we? Oh, it was seven, and then we had sepia on him. Oh. Now, what I did was I lit him up a little bit. Yep. Maybe not too much. Maybe since I did it, I'm trying to I think. Can come back now and turn him off. Okay. I, I still think this is too dark now, isn't it? Still, that's too dark. 
So we're going to close that. The channel. And we're going to brighten this up. Like that. You know what? By doing that extra I did there, give us some depth, didn't it? Yeah. You know? I don't know. You have to do that. You have to do that one arch that's still dark in the middle, Joe. What, right here? Yep, come across it. Yep. Because you got like a light and light and then a hole in the middle. Like yeah, the okay, light bulbs good point. Out. Thank you. Like the You're light right. bulbs out. There you <laughs> go. Okay. So we have... We went over by 32 minutes. Is there anything else, other ones that we might want to try on or? Oh, this is enough, do you think? It's, it's eight, we're uh, starting to lose some folks. It's 8.32, but. Okay. I think you did a good job, Joe. Well, good, uh, I this you guys would, did a good job. This would be worth doing again sometime. I, I think it's very, for me, it's very educational. I hear what you Well, got and I'm learning things on uh, um, Lightroom that I didn't know before. Mm -hmm. So hmm. I wouldn't mind seeing it again. Okay, well, we can, uh, we'll have another six sequence in a couple of months, maybe, and uh, with another series of images. So let me Just ask So far, you won't be needing any tables for the um, no? equipment exchange. Okay. I was surprised at that. But okay, I, I wasn't, no, I'm not surprised at that, but. Okay, well, that's it, um, folks. Thank you, Joe. Thank, Thank you. you. That, was, that was excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very Thank you. much. Okay. Yeah, it was great. Okay, and Thanks, thank you everybody Joe. for- uh, Thank you. Sure thing. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. Joe. Sure Thanks, thing. Joe. Okay, great. thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. I know. Hi, John Boy. <laughs> <laughs>
I am um, exporting that, and then I will uh, send that to you, okay? Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate sure. that. I just made it high resolution, so it'll come up to you. Yeah. I don't know what happened with sending to you. It it, I tried three times and it wouldn't send the pictures over to you. It kept saying that your your uh, email address wasn't valid, and I know it was valid because I took it off of the off of the um, uh, huh. yeah, off of the off of the email that you sent me. Uh, I usually copy and paste into my books into my. Uh, address book that way I get things right and I don't mess up typing the, the names in. Okay, I'm sending this off to you right now. Mail oh, receiver. thank you. What is your um, uh, what is your email address? This it's uh, S-I-S-K-O Wait a minute, okay, just hold on a second. S-I, uh, there we go. Okay, there, should be in your email box. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna work on that other flower. Um, I well, like your suggestion. And where are you, uh, Terry? Oh, That's this one right here. There. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna work on that. Do you use Lightroom or what? No, I use a program called ACDC. Okay. Uh, and I can do most everything in ACDC that you can do in Lightroom or Photoshop. But the nice thing I like about ACDC is when you save it, when you're finished and you save the image, it does not put it into a different directive. It puts it into the same folder where it came from. Uh -huh. So I don't have a couple different folders open. Right. Um, in this, I think I paid, originally I paid 79 for the first version and I waited two years and I bought the second one was 79. Now I'm gonna wait maybe till next year and get the next updates because the updates are doing this time for me, uh, I don't do much with people, so it doesn't really, uh, it doesn't really apply to me too much. Okay. I'm more with the flowers and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, well, I thank you very much. Okay, you're everyone, welcome. For leaving, okay. And uh, we will catch you later. Okay. Take care. Uh, good Bye night. Now.